What is going on aliens? I'm Mike Rosa and today I'm going to show you five ways without weights. So absolutely no equipment is needed and these methods are going to be able to intensify your body weight workouts. So they will literally make your body weight feel heavier. Now that being said, if you have weights, I highly recommend you use them. It is so much easier, especially for progressional methods and increasing that resistance. Use weights if you have them. But for those people who don't have the option of different types of equipment, different types of levels of resistance, this video is going to help you optimize your body weight workouts to make those workouts harder and harder. Now real quick before we get into the video, make sure you download my workout app called Exercise. It is a free download on both the app and Play Store. You can generate thousands of workouts based on your customized selections so make sure you check that out and get them gains aliens now back to this video so what like I said we're gonna be going over five methods that apply more tension to the muscles without adding any extra weight so you are gonna be creating your own resistance really intensifying that by just using your body weight alone let's get into it stop me talking so much <laughs> method number one is incorporating static holds a static hold is when you're holding an exercise at the contraction point now the contraction point is when the tension is activating the most muscle fibers. By adding static holds, you're gonna be increasing the tension that's being applied to that specific muscle. Now the duration of how long you're gonna be holding that hold can vary depending on your progression, depending on your experience level, and depending on multiple other factors. But the point I'm making is, by adding these static holds, you're gonna be activating more muscle fibers when they're at their most tense moment. And this is a great way to make your body feel like more weight is being applied to it. Because when you're in that contraction point you can't hold it for nearly as long as you think you can eventually that muscle will fatigue and you're gonna have to keep fighting that burn that contraction hold so that static hold is a way that is gonna make you feel like that muscle is getting applied way more tension so more resistance in theory some examples of how you can utilize the static hold to maximize gains is you can do one set for as long as possible and utilize this as a one set burnout to completely exhaust the muscle. Then another option you can do is shorten the duration of your static hold and do multiple sets of that and use that to just apply more intensity and tension to activating those muscle fibers. So those are two options you can try to give that static hold a go. Let's get it. On to method number two now and it is incorporating explosive reps. Now the point of explosive reps is we're actually focusing on recruiting different muscle fibers that are going to help optimize the power output needed to be explosive. So we're not necessarily focusing as much on the tension being applied to the muscle. We're focusing more on the force being applied to the muscle. So you won't necessarily be able to do more repetitions because you're going to be having different muscle fibers recruiting that power needed for the explosion, but more force is going to be applied to those muscles, which is going to hit them in a completely different way. And this is a great great method, especially if you're not used to being explosive. This is a great method to not only work on increasing your athleticism and your overall strength and power, it will really help hit those muscles in a different way, which will correlate to building more size as well. So by doing these explosive reps, you absolutely will feel like more weight is being applied because you have more force production. So make sure you incorporate some explosive reps here and there. And when you're doing these explosive reps, you still want to make sure that you have full control over the exercise. So make sure you're still performing form and proper form, but right after that contraction point, you're going to be exploding back to that starting position, ready right to get into the next rep. And also, depending on your experience level, you don't necessarily need to explode off the surface. So what I mean by that is, if you're doing a push-up, you don't necessarily need to explode so your hands are coming off the floor. If you're using a couch, you don't necessarily need to explode where your hands or your feet or whatever the hell you're doing is coming off of the couch. The whole point of the explosive factor is whatever your experience level you're at, you're coming control to that contraction point and then from that contraction point you're going to be moving in a fast tempo so as fast as possible with as much force applied so if you can't yet get off of that surface still come as fast and as powerful as possible back from that contraction point to the starting position and some examples of how you can apply these explosive reps to your workout I like to do my explosive work at the beginning portion of my workout because that is when I'm most powerful. So that's what I recommend if the force, the strength, the power aspect is what you're most importantly looking for or if it's just something to change things up for you. Definitely try it at the beginning because you're going to have the most power. But realistically, explosive reps can be done at any portion of the workout. So if you were to do it in the middle portion of your workout, I'd either think that exercise is too easy without the explosiveness, so you're adding 
in that aspect to make it harder, or maybe you're trying to pre-exhaust for the next exercise to come up. There's a couple different options, or you can use it as a finisher as well. It will completely exhaust the muscles, recruiting those different muscle fibers, being more powerful, but at the end of that workout, you're already fatigued, so that power is gonna be drained and just completely exhaust you. So that is another method. Now, let's get on to the next one. Aw, uh, yeah. On to method number three now, aliens, and it is applying tempos to your exercises. This has become one of my personal favorite methods, and I've been doing it in the gym. So it applies to all types of training, and it's very, very effective. So the way you apply a tempo to an exercise is you take the eccentric portion of the movement, the contraction portion of the movement, and the concentric portion of the movement, and then you add a time sequence to each specific portion of the movement. Those time sequences can completely change. It can change per specific part of the movement, or it can be the same same per each part of the movement. There's a ton of different ways you can apply tempos to each specific exercise and that's going to change depending on what exercise you're doing. But by adding these tempos, you're really focusing on the control of the exercise which is significantly going to help increase your mind-muscle connection. The tension being applied to the muscles under this time under tension principle is absolutely crazy for muscle gain. It has been helping me a hell of a lot and it's going to help a lot of you too. It will help with your exercise control. It will help with activating muscle fibers that are supposed to be activated by increasing that mental connection to the actual performance of that exercise. And then it's also going to significantly help with just having that activation of the exercise being applied to the muscle fibers more consistently throughout the exercise. So it's a really effective method and I highly recommend you give it a try if you've never done it before, especially if you're someone who does specific exercises and doesn't feel that muscle that you're supposed to be working, working as well as it should be or working at all. This method will definitely help you feel that muscle be working and if it still doesn't work after you're controlling a tempo sequence exercise then you got to kind of reestablish how you're doing that exercise because it's more than likely going to be a form mistake so clearly i love my tempo training it is a killer method for really helping just increasing the activation and tension being applied to your muscles during every single exercise you do so if you're someone who is just banging out exercises and banging out reps do tempo training it will completely change the game for you now tempos can be added to any exercise, so you realistically can put them on any single exercise throughout any part of your workout, and it's gonna be effective. But some examples of tempos, just so you completely understand the process, is for a push-up, for example. Say I set my tempo sequence up as a three, one, three. So that would mean for the push-up, coming down on the eccentric, you'd count to three, one, two, three. Then at the contraction point, so when you're holding at the bottom, it's a second count, so one, and then you're coming back up for that concentric portion of the movement as a one, two, three, and that all together would be one repetition, and you'd complete all the reps under that exact same tempo sequence for the rest of the set. And just one more example of the tempo sequence to give you a different idea. I'll do a little body shrug. Say the tempo was two, two, zero, so coming up, one, two, at the contraction point, one, two, and then all the way back down because there's no count, it was two, two, zero. So one, two, one, two, and then back down to the starting position. And you're controlling that tempo sequence throughout the whole set every time. Hey, now we're on to the fourth method and it is to switch frequencies. A lot of times when people's training gets stagnant, they stop seeing results as much, they stop noticing progression, exercises stop feeling as effective, it is oftentimes because they need to switch up their programming. I like to follow programs for about a six week period if I'm following the exact same routine week by week. Six weeks is about the point where I either get mentally out of the picture or the results start to slow down significantly where I'm like, okay, my body needs a change. Your body does adapt, your body does adjust, so that's why it's important. Just by switching around sets, switching around reps, switching around rest times, switching around order of exercises, this can all make a significant difference on how hard an exercise is gonna be. Literally just by putting a harder exercise in front of an easier exercise by the time you get to that easier exercise after you already completed that harder exercise that easier exercise is gonna feel a lot harder and it goes the same for reps sets and rest periods for example say you normally do this exercise and you do three sets of 20 repetitions but maybe we switch it around and we do five sets of 15 repetitions and see how your body reacts see how it feels maybe you'd normally do this exercise with a minute and 30 seconds rest well this time you're only going to have 30 seconds of rest in between that exercise. By switching up these frequencies, you can completely change the game for your actual workout. Now that being said, you still want to make sure you're following a progressive program where you can consistently build and keep track of your progression. 
but by a time it gets where you're starting to feel really stagnant and the results just aren't coming as much or you feel like you need to intensify your workout, you most often need a frequency switch, so do it up. And onto the fifth and final method of this video, and it is to intentionally apply pre-exhaustion. Now, I've talked about pre-exhaustion in the previous methods, but this time around, it is to intentionally apply that tension before you are actually performing the intended sets and reps for a specific exercise. The point of this is to make that exercise harder. When an exercise is easy, we can go back to the switching frequencies portion where I talked about putting a harder exercise in front of an easier exercise to make that easier exercise harder but also instead of having to switch around your entire exercise structure to fit for your easier exercises you can't always do that if you're in a progressive program another method you can do is by adding additional tension to that muscle before you perform that easier exercise. Now what I mean by that is, you can actually do the tempos, you can do explosives, you can do holds, you can do a whole different exercise, but you're not actually applying sets and reps to this portion of the workout. This specific aspect is to just work on increasing that mind muscle connection and giving those muscles a pump, pre-fatigue them before you're getting into the actual sets and reps desired for that exercise. So you're, what you're trying to do is basically just exhaust that muscle extra before you actually begin your optimal volume. This is actually a great method for people who struggle to activate the correct muscles and really feel the tension where it's supposed to be applied because you're gonna be getting those muscles and that mentality onto that actual muscle before you perform that specific exercise, which is intended to hit that muscle. So it really does all work together. And by utilizing all these five tips, these five methods, they can significantly help your body weight training improve. They will make you feel like you're lifting 100 pounds on top of your body weight. It is crazy what these methods can do for you so if you are looking to intensify your bodyweight workouts and don't have the funds or just don't have the availability or accessibility to get more equipment, more levels of resistance, I hope this video really helps you. And real quick, a recap of the five ways without weights, so absolutely no equipment needed to make bodyweight feel like it's a lot heavier for when you're exercising. Number one, add static holds. Number two, add explosive reps. Number three, tempos, number four, switch up your frequencies, and then number five, intended pre-exhaustion. Let's get it, aliens, aw yeah. <laughs> Make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me and click that notification bell right next to subscribe so you don't miss any new video uploads for me. I'm uploading multiple videos a week. You don't wanna miss any aliens. And I do one-on-one -on -one personalized training on my website, anabulkaliens.com. If you're looking for a customized workout program, meal plan, I got you, let's get them gains together. Thank you for the support as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.